Look here, the uh, sections of the battery box. I haven't, the, there's a couple of sort of greeble sections I haven't printed, but these are the uh, the basic parts uh, which I've printed, and I will see, uh, show you what they look like when they're partly assembled. Okay, there you can see I've just uh, loosely taped the uh, boxes together. I haven't uh, printed the front greebles, that's about the only piece I haven't done. Uh, I don't think I have, if I have, I've uh, mislaid them, so I'm going to have to. Uh, find out where they are but there's a there's a two there's a section goes on there and there's two sort of bulk things that, uh, that take the hoses that go on there uh, that go around um, so that is the uh, that's the right hand and that's the left hand I think no that is the correct way around because they hook on the inside of the leg they print on okay and I notice uh, Mike Badley does mention about warping uh, on these pieces uh, which did happen a bit um, and I lost, sort of shaved in a little bit there. The corners weren't perfect, but I think that's my printing part than anything else. Um, edges were okay. I mean, generally, they're actually really good, considering the weird shape of them. Um, let's see them end on. I think, um, I mean, they're not my best prints, but uh, I think they work out okay. That's the other one. So I've just got to print the extra bits um, and um, and move on. There's some small little dove, dovetail joints in there which work uh, quite nicely actually. I've just got to sand them down but they'll click in a little bit tighter. So they do actually lock in rather well those things. They're locked in, you can see them just in there, the dovetails. Uh, and so that actually does hold together. I don't know, okay, it's taped, but uh, so those are those boxes. I will show you uh, the legs, the, the rest of the feet that I've been doing as well. Okay, as you can see, that's part of one of the wheels. Um, this came out very well. Printed out uh, very well, actually. Flat. I did have quite a bit of uh, issue trying to get some of these to lay flat on the bed in the... Uh, um, in the SDL files, but uh, once I'd sliced them okay, they were all right. But I have a quite a bit of problem slicing. This bit, as you can see, didn't really work. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to reprint that. Basically, I uh, printed it that way and didn't put any infill, so I actually printed it because uh, I was trying to. You can see that's got an angle there, so I, print, I printed it flat. So that wouldn't have any infill but I forgot to actually put any infill on this side but I might be alright because that's on the inside of it so if I um, clean that off um, that might work out I'm not sure that's just, I need to uh, look to see if I can use that bit uh, but it prints very solidly these printed fine again as I say the main the main issue I was having it was to get in these to lie flat on the bed in the slicer software because they sort of come at strange angles and it took quite a while just sort of because uh, um, Stick 3R doesn't have a, like an automatic levelling, well not that I'm aware of, um, system where it will flatten the pieces to the bed. So um, you, I was just, just you know, half a degree just getting them to lay flat because uh, if you didn't they were uh, you were getting rough edges underneath but um, these pieces came out fine and they're very solid and that's re they're really nice prints those and that one these smaller pieces just these blocks and these corners I think I've still got small bits and pieces to print. I haven't actually looked how this assembles, just as I say, I've just been printing away the bits. So have a look at this next week. Uh, that's that lot. There's still more to be printed on that one. I'll show you what else I've done. Okay, so there's um, parts of the uh, outer foot drive. Um, I'm not quite sure how, how any of this goes together. I had a look at the, uh, had a very quick look at the PDF assembly drawing and thought I'd just go on printing another cup of tea instead. But uh, obviously that piece goes together. Uh, these are the inner pieces. I, 
don't know. I haven't even really got my head around what's here. Um, this was using a different PLA, uh, which I'll put a link in because I ran out of the one, the uh, technology out there, one I normally use, uh, which is now back in stock actually. Um, so it's more satiny. Uh, you can probably see it actually. Um, and it's quite, it's quite nice. But um, I'm quite, I prefer, I think it's just because I've always used the other one. Uh, this was another cheap PLA I tried as well, um, which I didn't really like. I don't know if you can see the colour difference, because that's like a satin colour, that's a very white colour. Because um, that would be the colour, I'll just pan over to the foot, if you can see the colour. That's the, that's the PLA I normally use on the in foot there, uh, and that's that white one. But uh, slightly different colour, doesn't matter, it's going to get painted. Uh, you can see the colour difference on those two actually. But um, the Sassany, um, let's break that out a bit. Finish actually is really good, I mean the quality is extremely good. So um, I've just got to print a load more of those and then try and work out uh, the head or tail of the PDF drawing. Uh, or maybe drink more tea and look at it. But um, so that's actually uh, almost as far as I've got in printing. I'm just trying to see if there's any more. I'll just have a rummage to see if there's anything else I've missed. Well, there's just a couple of things uh, still to, to go. This is what I've been printing today, which you've probably heard the uh, printer on in the background continuously. Uh, sorry about the noise. These are the gripper arm and interface arm. I think that's the gripper arm. Yeah, it is that. I'll just pan around and you can see what's printing on the, on the printer. That is printing, that's arm shoulder uh, of the uh, arm shoulder of the clipper on, yeah. There's quite a bit of support uh, because of the odd shape it, it, it is. So that's those bits. Oh, and it's finished. So that is, I'll just take that off the bed, hold on a second. Okay, that was quite a good timing. So that was the, uh, that's the arm shoulder section. By, uh, with thanks to Gregory, Gregory Welsh, as uh, Michael's printed on that bit. As you can see, I put quite a bit of support in there because it's odd shape. And I think that works. Oh yeah, that does actually work out. Have to clean that out of there, I think. But I'll work on that, I've just got to get rid of that out of there, clean clean that edge up slightly. But that's, uh, that's quite, I wasn't quite sure how to print that at all, so I thought just flat on the, uh, on the bed with support, and that's obviously worked out really well. So, so I've just got to get that bit out of there. These pieces. Again, I used infields just because they're hollow, because that's, I think, with the... Uh, the mechanism goes in and out, so I assume that goes on somehow like that. So they've actually come out rather nicely. And the infills work rather well as well, so again, they're quite fiddly. Uh, pieces to decide how to print. And I'm rather pleased with it. That's, uh... It's on right there, I suppose. See that. So that's um, that is pretty much as far as I've got. Uh, 
<laughs> well, I've got a whole new bag full of other bits and pieces there. This is, uh, these are parts of the, uh, the dome doors. But I'll go through those another time. I need to clean this up. But uh, as you can see, there's various bits and a lot in there. Dome doors and the uh, mechanisms for the dome uh, relays, which I think I went through in a previous video. So there's, there's a whole selection of bits and pieces in there, uh, which need cleaning up and uh, sorting out. And I think that really is as far as I've got. So um, until next time, I will um, I'll keep printing. Thanks for watching.